Yo, good evening. Let's move some bits around. You know what we haven't done, don't you? We haven't taken a picture. This important part of the evening. Let's do that now. Before everyone complains. And they do complain. A lot. Right then, let's see if I can uh, get this girl in. Right, that is that done? All right. What am I doing? These have to come off. They are done. Done for the done pile. These need off. And we have to finish the missile launches. And ahead. We said we do those missile tips in yellow. Well, I'm half tempted in white. Got to do them in white. What color is this? This is white, that's all right. Is a uh, pallet cam working? Yes. Always a big fear of ours that he's not working. Ours, mine. Got yo on there. Yo. That was upside down. That wasn't easy. I'm feeling very full tonight. I may have eaten rather a lot.
So what shade colour we're going to use on these missile tips? There we go, stage one done, they just need a wash and then we'll do stage two. First we have to do all the other missiles. There we go, they are now ready for their wash. Oh, did you see that? He's smashing the place up. Are we done with the glue? I'd like to have that out of the way. quickly.
There we go. Right, let's wash these little mofos. We'll do it with Agrax Earthshade. little dab on each of these warhead tips. Then dab the <sighs> in the meantime, I think we'll have to give this silver a wash. A wash? A dry brush. We only need the smallest amount. We'll need our smallest dry brush, which we've lost. There it is. I we'll need a little one. One of these. Which one is newer? Have a bit more flex in the old bristles. We run that over our texture thing. Brushing his ears. And his eyeballs. And that is that bit pretty much done. Now uh, we'll clean this brush. Using the old water and scrubbing technique, which has passed down from many millennia. Different people with their dry brushes, the National Dry Brushing Championships. There we go. Brush is nearly dead. <laughs> We need a drink. All right, next up, I'm gonna paint some gold trim around this thing. Is that right? No, it's not right. We've got to highlight the yellow. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's highlight that yellow. We're gonna use the yellow we used plus 
Use Averland Sunset. The land of Avers. Mix with a bit of white. And then a white highlight. There we go. Mix that up. Give you this awful pastely ochre colour. But we can use that. But then we uh do our highlights along this edge. The keen eyed among you will notice that we haven't done a wash. It comes later. Ah, Mr. Bannockburn, how is one? I told you I'd comment on your thread. I remembered late last night. Well, I don't know if it was late, actually. I think I might need to get my eyes tested, you know. I think they're starting to uh, lose their clarity. That's all right, my man. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed it. I couldn't find any of the other stuff, though. I saw the Titan. My eyes are gunky. Ah, uh, I'm gonna try. If I get a chance, I'll have a look at that in bed tonight. A bit of uh, bedtime reading, as it were. Yeah, I thought it was good when you said it was shoddy. I was expecting it to be shoddy, but it wasn't. There's a bit of a wrong coloured part there. We'll just hide that with a bit of that colour. They'll never know that old chestnut. That is the thing, isn't it? Everyone makes little mistakes and you see it because you know it's there and your eye is drawn straight to the mistake, but other people, they never see it. Right, now we need some white. 
Let's do that in there, that should be dry enough. If not, I don't care. Get a smaller brush. It's horrible, isn't it, when you have a glaring mistake? Are you painting tonight, Mr. Bannockburn? If I remember correctly, you had a lot of children running around in your house last time. Tongue's coming out, I must be really concentrating. Are they your children? Or do you have the pleasure of looking after someone else's? Go. That is ready for its um, what do you want to call it? Glaze. Ah, you have the pleasure of being able to give them back. And he brings them around every night for you to uh, entertain. And then it's bedtime, and then they go home, I suppose. needed but there you go oh hold on I want to change my water Good hour away. That's a long way away. Right, what we're going to use the Lamenta's yellow. It always looks like orange juice to me. I want to drink it. You have to do this annoying way of painting yellow. bubbles there on the bottom. And that's terrible. There we go. Works every time though. I'm going to put a bit too much on there. Because two thin stains is better than one thick stain, isn't it?
There we go, that'll do. Give that a hose. Does it show up on camera? I didn't think it would. I'm just drawing it down here in front of my crotch at the moment. It's probably one of those paints that you really shouldn't dry with a hairdryer. But hey ho, we have to learn the hard way somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're now going to find out. I've done the layer really thin though. I'll do two real thin glazes. Yeah, it actually looks yellow as opposed to like an ochre colour. There we go, two seems to be the uh, required amount to actually make it yellow yellow. I want a base colour that comes out like aerial yellow or real yellow, or how the hell you pronounce that. Who did a yellow that was that good? And the world would be a better place. There we go, it's even stained my highlights now so I can uh, reapply those. Makes me think Imperial Fists wouldn't actually be too bad. There we go. I'll let him dry. And I'll reapply the white on these missile tips. I was going to do them yellow, but I wanted something really stark. Red would do it. Yellow is yellow. I think I'm going to keep white. A commission fist. How many Imperial Fists were in this Imperial Fists army? That sounds like the world's biggest chore. I'll get that head done and stuck on tonight and that base done it means I can put a gloss varnish on it tomorrow tonight maybe and that'll mean it'll be decal day Basic box from two editions. Was that the Black Reach box? Yeah, that was Black Reach. What was the one after that? Was it Dark Vengeance? The Dark Angels one. But they fucked up by making all the models Dark Angels specific. Unless you're into Dark Angels, that is.
<laughs> yeah. If you're a Dark Angels player, it would be uh, amazing. So what's the missing one? If, Dar if uh, Black Reach was 4th edition... No, it's 5th edition, wasn't it? 6th would have been Vengeance. 7th would have been... What? Because 8th is this Dark Imperium. Yeah, but only the uh, character is a specific Space Wolf model. Everything else you could paint up something else. I think the others are all generic. I think, well, I might be very wrong. Ah, Recycled Dark Vengeance. Oh, didn't that come out like two years after 6th? We got that one quite quick. If I remember right. That's starting the two year edition cycle instead of four. I think we're nearly done. I played a lot of 7th, I really didn't like it. 8th is a hell of a lot better, in my opinion. It's more of a fun game as opposed to a bloody slog, is what the other one felt like. Lots of pointless little rules that everyone forgot. The addition of forgetting your own rules. Right. These missile launchers are done. Don't go in the done pile. Done, not done. Are you dry? No. Right, let's um, do another dry brush on the base. We need our friend, uh, Stonewall Grey. There he is. Back up for vehicles. See, I, I never really gave a shit about Facings and arcs, but I can see why people miss it. They should just put a rule in about just being at the back. First game on Saturday. Who are you playing and what are you playing as? Get some trees in there. I want to do this quite light, this dry brush. Have you got your own uh, texture piece to do your dry brushing on? Yeah, that looks like it's going to be alright. I always hit the edges first. I don't worry about dry brushing a bit of the uh, toe. I just blend things. Ah, Dark Angels. They had their new codex yet?
an early one. I can't remember that coming out. No lion then. Who's going to be the next Primark release? This is a big question. We're out of paint. Uh, could be Fulgrim. He's the old snake and bait, isn't he, nowadays? I'd like to see a new Slar Nash release. I think that'd be quite good. My favourite of all the Chaos gods. Pink colours, pinks and purples. I love it. Is Russ the rumoured next uh, loyalist? There's always these people who have these rumours well uh, in advance, isn't there? indeed I'm always intrigued to see I hope they don't do it too quick because once they're all done and out where do you go from there what's the rate at the moment like one a year some more. Just saw a spider go running along the floor. Yeah, it's weird that the uh, portal stuff seems to properly slow down, doesn't it? I guess it's all the specialist games. But now they've nearly finished the. Um, Heresy Black Library books. It looks like they're finishing the book series just before the old siege. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a whole new start of something to do with the siege of terror. They're going to have its whole little book series and game series all to do with the siege. They're going to really milk that dry. That's my thinking anyway. There's a bit too much texture on that road. 
Gonna have to paint that in. Concerns me. A big scouring, yeah, that'll be a brilliant one. You'd literally get to bring all the other chapters in at that point. Well, most of them anyway. All the dividing of the legions. The scouring could just go on forever. In, in the floor in here. I didn't read any of that War of the Beast thing. What was that all about? Or well, the Beast Arises, whatever it was. read varying quality was it varying authors that were uh, giving it the varying quality it's all subjective though isn't it which authors you like and which authors you don't I'm a big fat fa I'm a big fail Big fan of Mr. Aaron Dembski Bowden, or have you, however you pronounce his name, Bowden Bowden. I really enjoy his work. There we go. Give that brush a wash. Just needs a white dry brush now. Then we'll repaint the road and paint the sign, and that's pretty much done. Actually, I might give it an Agrax Earth Shade wash just to get some extra colours in there. There's filth in this brush. I do like Imperial Fists actually. They were my first original um, army back in the day. Nice to have this horrible method of painting them back then. I used to undercoat it white, make some golden yellow and orange mix up, put like an orange wash over the top of that, Ugh. and then like repaint it all yellow. God, it took forever. I wouldn't fancy doing that again. I had to dig out all my old stuff off the internet. I sold it all. I should still have uh, threads laying around. I wonder who's still got all those things. That Land Raider, I would look back. Whoever bought that off me, I'll buy it back off you. Um, yeah, we said we put a brown wash on this, didn't we? Stab it in various places as opposed to all over. Stipple it on. That's the way to do it. Get a bit of variation in tones. We get some green washes in here or something. A 
the road is going to be repainted. Going to be rather, not going to be. So I'm not too worried about that. A lot of navy action. We don't get enough navy action, do we? In my opinion, anyway. There we go, some brown stains. Let's stick a few green stains in there. Then we have a green wash. We have cold pit green shade. I'll try and like mix these into the oh wasn't expecting that. What a strong shade. I'll just dab that in a few places. That will take over. Let that mix on the part. I've never played that computer game. Would you say it's worth playing? There he goes. A few more tones in there now. Break it up a little bit. Then we do a real light white dry brush at the end of it. Did I just splash shit everywhere? Me trying to look in two places at once. I mean I don't I don't really care if it's true to the fluff, if it you know the story and it is a bit shit, but as long as it's sort of fun and it has that addictive strategy game type, then it's fun. Um, where are we at? We've got to do this head, haven't we? We'll do that gold. Checking to see if that is uh, where? Yeah? No, it's not. Gold paint, where are you? Look at this messy old thing. What is that? Yeah, I do like a good turn-based strategy game. Have you ever played a game called Valkyria Chronicles? That's something I'm uh, about 75% of the way through the game. And this Titan came out, so it got put on hold. That I'm very much enjoying. Hey look, it's our local Tyranid friend. It's back. Yeah, I, I really recommend that if you're into anything to do with strategy games or RPGs. I've got a good friend who loves like World War II alternative things and strategy, but he says he doesn't like the anime style, so he refuses to play it. I, on the other hand, love anime, so I have no issues. What's this here? What is that bit at the bottom? Okay. Just that whole... What am I painting here, Fear? I 
I remember, was it a game called Ring of Red or something I had on my PlayStation 2? That was like that, but I can't remember what it was called. I think I remember being really bad at it. I remember it being hard. I probably had no idea what I was doing. The last PlayStation was the first one. We were talking about that at work today. The old startup screen noises. Now that was good. It was giving me goosebumps talking about that. They were the days. Sneers. I've got one in the cupboard. Unfortunately, it has no power lead, no aerial lead, and I don't even know if it works anymore. But they were amazing, weren't they, at the time? I remember buying my first Sniz after uh, wanting it for months and months and months. I played uh, Super Mario World for the first time around my friend's house and then uh, I finally got it Super Mario World for the first time after never playing anything like it. My god, that was an experience wasn't it? That and Zelda linked to the past. Still two of the best games I've ever played I'd say. Where are you, Lou, uh, Lou, located, Mr. Bankburn? Are you in the UK? Or did you have one of them funny looking American SNES? They were like a, uh, well, should we call it what our parents used to call it? A Super SNES. The instant facepalm name. Secret of Manor, that was a good one. That was a good one. I always remember Secret of Mana. You'd always be able to whiz through it, and then there would always be like one boss that you'd be stuck on for hours. I remember some bouncy ball tiger thing near the start. Ah, uh, Germany. So, which SNES did you have? Did you have the PAL one, or did you have the NTSC one? See, they're phrases I haven't used since. PAL and NTSC. Yeah, I was a, I was a PAL. I think we took a uh, trip to France with the school around the time of the SNES. And they had the American looking one in the shops. That's when I had a Game Boy, unless they were imports. So it would appear I must have had my Game Boy before my SNES. Game Boy. No, the uh, Japanese one looked like our one, the PAL one. And then they rebranded it. And it was in like a toaster. 
a real horrible square and purple looking thing. We had a nice sort of rounded one with four different coloured buttons. The American one had like purple and pastel purple if I remember correctly. The Game Boy was a brilliant machine as well at the time, wasn't it? Although, I never had Pokemon. If I had, I reckon I'd have liked it. I have a funny feeling that the Game Boy Pokemon games came out really late. Oh, I haven't done these. It's here, have I? Yeah, I think uh, the younger kids had Pokemon. I think we may have just missed it, assuming you were born in 81 as well. There we go, that's done for the gold. Let's do some pipes. Those pipes can be red. A whole generation ago. What came first, a Pokemon game or Pokemon cards? So I remember a lot of cards everywhere and I would have been about 18. I just started driving and you would find Pokemon cards everywhere. I even managed to get hold of some, but I can't remember how. Okay. Could well have been the cards first. Uh, we need to do some pipe bundles. I think we're going to paint them red. We want my old my fist in red. Call me red. And I've lost it. Do you remember Mechrite red? The original base red. Look, 2007. This is an old paint. This is 11 years old. Do I have anything older laying about over here? Can't see anything older. I thought I did have one. Um, what am I looking for? Um, Mephiston Red, that's it. It must be out then, there it is, I've got it out. I am a fool. But I don't think that um, paint is as old as this yellow ink here. I wish this had a date on it. No, no date. What about this one, there's another yellow ink. No date on that, that's a shame. This is basically that, I think. I think these are almost the same thing. Yellow ink and Lament is yellow. I think you could use them for the same thing. Original dark green ink ran out. If you need some, I probably have some. <laughs> That's if it hasn't dried out. I've got a lot of those old colours that I never use anymore. Tyrone is flying about. Right, Mephiston Red. What is the new one? Coelia Green Shade? Do 
Veil 10. Oh, shows what I know. Oh! God, I hate that subscription noise. Who was that? I wonder if I can turn that off because it actually hurts my ears when they do that. Makes me jump. Yeah, I can't say I've used BL10 yet. What about a Thonian camo shade? What colour is that? Um, I've got the Grand Master box, so there is a second Warlord in play at some point. I also have three of these little notes, two of my like fill-in projects. So if I'm waiting for a wash, big wash to dry or some some big drying session, I'll just wheel them out and work on those. And then I pre-ordered the Reaver, so that should arrive this weekend but I don't know if I'll get around to starting it before this damn whatchamacallit game comes out the following weekend Rogue Trader itching to paint some of that but after that I don't think there is anything is there for a while Oh, Warhounds in October. Mr. Bannockburn, are you on Instagram? You are not on Instagram. How did you come across us on here? Would be my question. I thought you were one of our uh, Instagram regulars. Obviously not. I keep saying hour, but it's just me, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, recommendations. That is strange that YouTube's recommending me. Then again, my channel is uh, fairly new, I would say. I think I had it up and running for about 10 months before I really added anything. Oh, Mr. Brooks is uh, late to the party. How are we? Now, Mr. Brooks, we know, is definitely on Instagram because he uh, he has even older stuff than I do. One of the best collections of old stuff. There we go. Those pipes are red. They just need a wash now. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hair dry this. I'm sorry.
Uh, wash, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, we'll wash it with black. I'm going to use my little uh, spinning device, the wash holder. This is the one we need a special lid for. It doesn't like to stay open. Here we go. Professional. I taught Duncan Rhodes that trick. Double check that's dry. Appears to be dry. You can hear now. Did you have sound issues yet? Dun Duncan loves it. I do like a, a bit of Duncan. I saw him in the flesh once at Warhammer World. He walked past. On late Friday evening, I was in there for lunch. I'm just making a cup of tea. I fancy a cup of tea. I've got these uh, ciders. Once this box of cider is finished, it is gone. There's going to be no more solders. Ciders, solder, soldering iron. Soldering irons. Yep, he was in the flesh, he walked past. We didn't say anything to him. He might have been whispering under his breath. That's the guy who taught me that trick. I didn't really teach him that trick, I am lying. Um this is going to be a while because that's got to dry. And this one's still drying. But what we can do is move on to these little twigs for a minute. Let's start sticking some purple on. See what it looks like. myself apparently. <laughs> right, this is either going to go really well or very badly. How much is left now? Not a lot to be honest. I've got to uh, finish this head, which we're waiting for a couple of washes to, to dry, and do the base, which we're waiting for a wash to dry. And then when we finish the base and the head, I'll give it a varnish. And then all we have to do after that is the decals. Oh, and then weathering. Let's paint all these panels in purple and then go back afterwards and repaint some.
Weathering is fun. I'm going to use the old uh, oil weathering techniques because I'm always a bit crap at weathering. It's nice to be able to take it off again. If you don't like it. Wipe it on, smear it off. Wipe it on, smear it off. There we go, there's one purple shoulder pad done. These knights are going to be a piece of piss to paint, I think. Paint the metal, dry brush them, fill in a few panels, done. I'll send them little uh, Tamiya kits, I don't know how the hell you use them. Dab it on, build it up, see that scares the hell out of me. It's a scary painting style. I mean, weathering style. I like, like, dab it on, don't like it, wash that bit off. Dab it on, bit scared, wash it off. My eyes are really gunky today. That's not a bad idea, Mr. Bannockburn. Did you do that on your Titan? Is that how you achieved your pigments? Not a bad idea, is it? It might be worth a try. Oops. Didn't see that. Oh, you put Seraphim Sepia in it. That's interesting. I thought you would just uh, literally just ground up the chalk. Stuck it in a load of water. And it did look good. I remember seeing that on your pictures. I was reading the chat in it and people were talking about old schemes and someone was talking about camouflage masks or something. I was like, hey, I don't remember ever seeing a camouflage titan, but you know, I don't know. What do I know? Ah, welcome to the clothes show. This week, David Bowie runs naked in the street. Right said Fred, try on a new vest. Boy George, wears a fiberglass waistcoat. Oh, 
Oh, really? Shard camo. Is this... Is this, um... <laughs> Bin bag dresses. Is, um... This Tempestus with the shard camo, is it pre... redo? I say redo as in like the Heresy books changed a few of the camo uh, camouflage titan schemes, didn't they? A little bit from old school. Is the shard pattern old school or is the shard pattern the redo? Why was that so hard for me to articulate? Terence Trent Derby. He said, sign your name across my gimp mask. Ah, uh, yes, that, um... The, um, someone was talking about that in my group the other day. They were saying how they were going to do Tyrannus or Tyrannus. And then someone said, ah, but they were blue pre-heresy. And then became red after the Mars schism. I'm like, I don't know. I thought they were red and the blue was just wrong. But who knows? I'm doing all that here. No one does all that. <laughs> Sign your name. Cross my gimp mask. I want to be your gimp. Ah, my airbrushing masks. I've got a nice one that I was going to throw away at work, and I thought actually that would be handy for uh, being a mask. I would recommend it because it's absolutely filthy. Look, this is just from airbrushing, and all that black there, I assume is paint, and it does look like a fly's head. There you go. It's your bit of entertainment for the evening. Did I have it upside down, my fly head? <laughs> it is hard, isn't it, when you just want to get on with it? Work with steel, or is this your workshop? Is it your workshop or one you work at? Did we have this conversation? Ah, respirator. Full on air fed. Tell you what, these little notes are a joy to paint. I can't stop myself painting this. I reckon my washes will be dry in a minute. I'll just finish this one. How did I just get purple paint on his thing? Didn't have purple end.
Basic blacksmithing. That sounds hard. Why would the neighbours complain? Is it noisy or does it stink? You could get them involved as well. I made a dagger and stabbed my master with it. I don't advocate stabbing your masters with anything you've made through their uh, tutelage. Smithing is loud. That stinks. My god, does it stink? We are talking about stink. We've got a biofuel factory opened up near where I work. And apparently sometimes something they've got there stops working properly and it fucking stinks. I feel like being that old grumpy bastard who complains to the council about that. You literally walk outside. And it's a smell of shit everywhere. Bastards in their biofuel. There we go, he's coming on quite nicely, I feel. Spatula dagger. Is that a dagger made from a spatula? Or a type of dagger that's called a spatula dagger? It's a little bit of a sod to get to that part of the knee, but we've done that. Someone once told me if you can't get to it to paint, then people probably can't see it anyway. How true that is, is up to you. Time is it? Half past eight? Oh my word, did I go quick? A long tapered dagger, billeted and what is tanged? Sounds like a short sword.
There we go. That's them bits done. Keep tapping on these shoulders where the paint's a little bit thin. And then all we have to do is this little shield. And then the weapons. Oh, and his face. We haven't done his face, have we? What am I playing at? How the hell am I going to get in there on his face? Let's do a couple of dabs. I hope it works. Out there somewhere, maybe. Out there somewhere, maybe. Out there somewhere, maybe. That's all right. Tap dry the pommel. cookery knife. Is that the one the Gurkhas have? Like a bent tip. Why is it so hard to make? As opposed to a, a different knife. You'll have to excuse my um, lack of knowledge in these areas. Ah, uh, hammering in the neighbours. Wait till they've gone out. Or, ask them if they want to come round, make some knives. And they'll be like, yeah, that sounds well good. And you won't have to worry about the neighbours, because the neighbours will be there, joining in. See? Easy win. How much can wash did I put on this the other day? All of it by look of things. There we go. Take care, Mr. Brook. Breeks. Mr. Brooks, have a nice evening. Right, we can get back on his head now, now that this knight has his uh, first purple coat. I don't know what he looks like on camera. Right, where are we with this head? I'll repaint that red. Give it a little highlight. Luckily I have the smallest amount left on my palette.
Right, let's highlight that red. We need a white, a rust. No, we don't need the white. What am I doing? It's orange, isn't it? Nearly made large balls up there. There we go. Just a little line on there. <laughs> Bin bag dresses. <laughs> There we go. Now we have to wash the gold using our special gold wash mix. Can anyone remember what it is? Um, because I can't. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. It is... Uh... Drucky Violet Agrax Earthshade. Ugh. I thought I just smeared my paste then. It's always important not to smear your piece. We do need a pipette. I'm going to use one, two, three drops of purple. Two drops of brown. Go for the other pipette. Have I thought about nitrile gloves? Yes. I don't like them. I don't like wearing gloves at all. Why do you ask? What is your... Uh, what is your concern? Am I covered in paint somewhere? All this red up here is from uh, another pair of gloves I've been wearing. That's pen. Ah, uh, I see. I don't, I don't really have too much of an issue with it. It's very rare. But, no, I for the time that I would use them, I'd rather not have them on for the gains that you do have from wearing them, if that makes sense. It's just not, it's just not me.
I suppose you could probably get used to them, couldn't you? But... No, I like to feel everything, as it were. I don't know if that makes sense. Feels like I'd have to give up some control, maybe. Sweaty fingers as yeah, you get the old powder, can't you? But I don't know if that helps much, really. I'll prefer to just mess it up. Shove some wash down there in his crevice. So, are you painting another Titan, Mr. Mr. Bannockburn? Or are you gonna just have the one off? There we go, there's all the gold washers done. Now we can rewash that base, I reckon. Rewash, re dry brush it. We're going to use some white. And you have to get very. Uh, Careful here. He's gonna have to move out of the way. Biggity boy dry brush. Get some of the old white. Is this still wet? Doesn't appear to be. If it is, we'll uh, make a cock up. Right, let's try that. We seem to be all right. Very light.
him out about the road. Set up these buildings. Um, yeah, we've just got the head to do just because we've got a wash on, just the head and the base and that's it. All the arms are done, they're down there, the missile launchers are done. So it's just a case of fiddling with this base now until that head's ready to uh, finish off. Should I paint those in a thingy texture? But no, I think that'll just distract. Got to paint this signpost in a minute. That is something we yet have to do. dry brush ever. Lots of weird old colours come out when you scrub them out like that. Weird. I swear I saw gold flecks from dry brushing custodies about two years ago. this road in we'll paint it in a nice light gray and we'll wash it there's a big old brush for this to be a lot bigger or well, this paint might need to be a lot thinner
There we go. That's probably going to take a week to dry, isn't it? This thin paint. Again, I'll give it two coats and then a wash. I'll wash this to blend that in with the uh, rest of the base there. I'll probably give this a drying with the hair dryer. day is it today it's tuesday isn't it so if we say wednesday might be finishing off some details if thursday i'll probably be decals day and friday i'll be weathering day okay How's that head coming on? Are you dry yet? Yeah. 
Oh, I think so. I'll just give that another bit of base coat. I want the black. Which I've lost. There it is. They're not jammed up. Tiny splodge. What grey is that? Stone wall. Do we mix those together? Yeah, they need to have dropper bottles. I've told them this many a time. Get dropper bottles. They are a hundred times better than the other pots. The uh, positives far, far outweigh the negatives. There are some people who prefer the pots, aren't there? Oh, the, the dropper bottles jam up. Yeah, but I would rather it jam up than dry out and have that awful hinge. I can finish it, fix a jam up by just giving it a poke from the inside. Why is that taking so long to dry? It's very weird. <clears throat> we need to put something on that sign. We were gonna do the uh, channel logo on there originally. That's a good idea for the old thinner. I tried that one. So have I got one of those around here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, I thought I did. Maybe I threw them all out. Yeah, I did it ages ago. I mixed all my pin pints, paints out with a bit of thinner and matte medium. That was when I first got into airbrushing and then I decided that it wasn't worth it. I don't know where all that stuff has gone. That is weird. Who knows? Right, that head I think is ready. That base has taken a very long time to dry. You might have to send a letter of complaint. Whoever's painted that. Anyway, gold. Do some more gold here. Yeah, it makes sense. Is this for your dark angels? Oh, we've got 25 minutes left. Need some more uh, wiping rag. Is it more? But the longest lasting. What was the question? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> Gotta be honest and say I can't remember what the question was. Something about base colours. I don't know. I'm sorry, I can't remember what the question was. We can get this head stuck on tonight, I would. Oh yes, these base colours, are they for your Dark Angels?
How do you do your bone on your Deathwing? I always find bone hard colour to do because sometimes it looks just too white and other times it just doesn't look pale enough. We are asking the expert Dark Angels painter now. Vallejo Bone White. Is um what is Vallejo Bone White? Is that on their game colour range or model colour range? Screaming Skull. Okay. Now, Screaming Skull. You'll have to excuse me. I've been out with the uh, Games Workshop colours for a while. Is that very much like Bleached Bone was? Have a look at your thread basically later. I'm expected to find it all on there. Okay. Shab Shabty Bone. My uh, partner, if I ever put the uh, videos on in the lounge when we're both in there, he says that when people talk about you Shabty Bone, she says, are they calling it Shouty Bone? And uh, what are the other mispronunciations? Dreadnoughts are Dregnoughts. And uh, drop pods are plop pods. I guess they do sort of plop, don't they? Shouty bone. There we go, that gold is almost complete. Now we've done that gold layer now, and now we're almost ready to put on our wash. That's what happens. Screamer pink. What is screamer pink? Is that a base colour? They release so many colours now, I just cannot keep up. Magic Sun's Blue. Magic Sun's Blue? Thousand Sun's Blue. That looks like a nice colour. Uh, 
Uh, so they're in your signature. All right. They should be easy to find. I did want to do another little highlight layer on that white. I'm going to do that quickly now. We've got time. This is all I wanted to do. That'll do. Now a bit of wash on this gold again. And our magic gold wash is done. And I bet that road still isn't dry, is it? Hmm, I might put some decals on that sign. That might be the easiest way to do things. I might see what sort of interesting picture decal I can put on there. Let's see if I can paint something on there. And if I don't like it, I'll put a decal on. That's the plan, that's the plan. Um, wash. Wrong color. That would have been a mess. Seraphim sepia. Need our wash brush, our trusty wash brush. And we begin.
There we go. The head is almost complete. We just need to dot in the eyes. I want to know if that road is ready to paint yet. And they're still a bit wet down there, look. And that's annoying. Bizarre. Right, we've got 10 minutes to quickly paint something on that sign. It's gonna look a mess, so then we'll repaint it. Hmm, there's something around it.
Might need the black back out for this. To tidy that up. Yeah, we need to thin that out a bit. We can do that. There we go, she just needs a little eye. The logo on the door is almost complete. We need to put the letters in, I think. I don't know if they're showing up on camera. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's not perfect, but I want to get some weathering on there. It should look a lot better. You know I'm concentrating because I'm absolutely silent. <laughs> and that doesn't happen very often.
<laughs> it's all about the mumbling. It's a lot of talking to yourself as well, isn't there? Yeah, I'm going to call that done for the night. And tomorrow, all I've got to do is paint some eyes on there, finish that road, do that lip. <laughs> Arguing with yourself. Normally try to force yourself to finish painting something. Like, should I bother? Nah, but you should do it. Yeah, I suppose I should, but I can't be bothered. Nah, I won't do it. Yeah, I better do it. Anyway, sir been an honor and a pleasure we shall see you next time and all we have to do really is do a lens in there paint a road stick a head in and paint that lip it should be an easy one tomorrow I shall say goodbye have a nice evening sir if it lets me turn it off